What's the ten uh, percent Dunedain at Minas Morgul? Do I? Hmm. See, I can't really make a proper decision until I've got my spy out here. But we've got Uflug, Captain Gorbag, and Captain Muslog are on their way with some troops round in the north. So we're gonna have a bit of a problem over there for a bit. Hmm. May attack 7, may attack 7, defense 9, defense 12. I mean, these marines are pretty good. 220 upkeep, 180 upkeep. Get a couple of extra marines there. Orders. <coughs> I'm surprised that Harrod haven't taken Ammon Ithil. I, thought, I would have thought they would have taken that rebel province. It was just sitting there, really. Right. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. My lord. Two more trips. As you wish. Stopping here. I shall continue tomorrow. Ooh. Mordor owns this area. That used to be owned by Rohan. Waldberg. Oh dear. Let's get a couple of units extra there. Uh, might as well, whilst I'm waiting, might as well retrain some troops there. So, in regards to the question I asked a couple, a few episodes back, some of you, I asked you basically, who, who should I try and sort out a diplomatic agreement with? Should I go for Mordor or should I go for Harad? And there was a little bit of back and forth between decisions between you guys um, but the majority of you seem to say if you go for a diplomatic agreement with one faction go with Mordor then you can take all take out the whole of Harad and then do Mordor afterwards so I might try and do that but the one argument Mordor. that someone kept putting forward was, or that people kept putting forward was that Mordor troops in general, so orc raiders, orc spearmen, yes. I mean, Tomorrow's journey plan Mauler, orc maulers aren't exactly the most powerful, but, um, you know, a lot of you were sort of saying will, that, uh, okay, apparently he's just walking on water, he's Jesus, um, a lot of you were saying, you know, yes. despite that, you Mordor has weaker troops, so you could well. get an agreement with Harad, yes. work on Mordor, then do Harad afterwards. So, I don't know. I might. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I guess at the moment I'm making more progress against Mordor. Not as much more progress, but still more progress against Mordor. I'm gonna so, you. I guess on because of that. I should get an agreement with Harad. My lord. Malgalad, there you are. Not very heavily defended. Put my spy sort of over this side now. Maybe we'll see what the borders are like along this line here. words on you my lord approaching quietly approaching quietly hmm. how far can they go i will not waste words on you i will not waste words on you well, they can't go very far so i've got a couple of turns to build some units here One more turn and we'll gain our reward for besieging Vatavir. Uh, I 
This is a really hard decision. Maybe I should take my force from Osgiliath and head north. Maybe go for the Black Gate straight away. Maybe use my com combine the forces of Kerandros and Hinnith and Un, or you know, a couple of the units together and attack Malgalad with that troop. Maybe sort of try and sort something out there. Um, to be perfectly honest, I think I'm going to need a. F I think I'm going to need another spy, but I can't recruit one. I need to see what forces up here at the Waldberg. I need to see what Mordor's doing over here. Um, we can't make any decisions until my diplomat yes, reaches my a destination. So, <laughs> thieves guild. Guild officers of his ways of all. No. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Okay, now he's back Stop in his home here. territory. Welcome home, diplomat. Faction announcements. Which is success. Three units of Gondor militia in the capital. Awesome. Expensive, but awesome. Now, I don't like the fact that there's a Harad army chasing my general over this way. If they are heading for Tyr Ethraid, I may have to pull my forces out. Finish with training them first. There's a lot of cavalry, that's the problem. Approaching. One catapult. Infantry isn't too bad. Um, apart from the a couple of these South Southron warband troops. The capital and the cavalry. Haradrim cavalry have always been a pain to deal with. Like without fail. <laughs> okay, they're sending a force over. Um Now that I have three militia here, I could probably put a okay defense in East Osgiliath. So I take four of them that way. Okay. All right, spy. What's at the Black Gate? Anything at the Black Gate? Not a lot at the Black Gate. It's decided. It has been decided. You march north. Yes. My lord. Orders. My lord. You're as you wish. Orders. My lord. Sorted. So we've got okay defense in East Osgiliath now. Where's our spy gone? Our spy die or something? Oh, damn it. Picked a bad time to die, spy. Right, this spy though. Lord. I can plot him back up here, I think. Approaching Need to see where this Harad town is over here. I think it's somewhere down there. Out. So what forces are you left behind? Oh, it's still the full stack force there. Mostly Haradrim spearmen. That's all right. That's fine. I've got quite mostly infantry, quite a lot of cavalry, made up of generals. That's good. One of my generals is infantry as well, which is a bonus. Diplomat. Yes, That's fine. Okay. Mordor's attacking him in Arnon. Uh, with a catapult? No, not going to attack me. Okay. New mission: take settlement of Minas Morgul. Corsair invasion. Is it 
not obvious I am your foe. But there's no there's no troops there. Leave me be. Okay, that honestly terrified me when it said that there was a Corsair invasion. But there is no I mean, do I have to put maybe a troop nearby for it to be able to see it? I mean look, there's two Corsair ships but there's no units. No units. Why? Why confuse me? Why? Why terrify me like that? Why be so mean? Hey, One turn. On they're heading for Tyria Raid, aren't they? Okay. Um. Have a taste of my blade. I'm gonna. You. Yes, my lord. With honor, we can go no further, my lord. I'm gonna. I'm losing 288 a turn because I got my army out of Osgiliath. Uh oh. I'm trying to decide what army to send to Malgalad. That's the. That's the thing. Okay, so the border there is orange, so Rune owns Thorenberg, that's fine. I'm not at war with Rune Your orders. at the moment. Yes. I shall continue tomorrow. Um I will not waste words on you. If they cross that river and enter my territory, I'm going to have to fight another field battle against Harad. I'll have no choice. I can't afford to be stuck inside that town when they have um, siege equipment. Just cannot afford it. High tax rates. Trying to keep my money up. I take your orders, my lord. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Ah. Uh. Because I'm going to have to take some troops here from Henethanun and Kerandros to take Malgalad so that I haven't got a little village on my back when I take the Black Gate, if I take the Black Gate. Um, I want to leave Boromir at Kerandros because he's a good fighter so I want him to, f to defend. Yes, so if I take two infantry from there and my two archers from here. Hopefully that'll be an okay force to deal with it. Why are they not taking Ammonithal? Uh... Diplomats nearly made it. Couple more turns and we'll be there. They didn't attack me. Oh, hello, Harad. We must make a stand. We so are the game lied to me, basically. Okay, now I'm losing a lot of money. The game lied to me. Your corpse will be thrown to the dog. Yes, my lord. Order. Your orders, my lord. 
I'll keep them happy. Okay, uh, they're still not crossing the river, damn you! <laughs> Cross the river, please! Oh, there's a like, Harrod force there. Right, um. Pull these guys out. Send them north. By your command. It's going to get loud again, guys. I'm going to demolish all the buildings in tier Earth raid so that Harrod have to rebuild them. So cover your ears if you think it's going to be too loud like last time. There we go. That will keep uh, the yes, debt collectors Lord. away for a little while. Yes. Making camp your orders, my lord. Damn it, you still can't see the village. <coughs> um My Lord. As you wish. So Tomorrow's one more turn my diplomat can make out. it, that's fine. I'm guessing Harrod is gonna attack me this turn or Mordor first. Mordor first. 754. Two orc raiders, one orc band. No big problem. So we'll. F How long have I been recording for, though? That's the thing. I haven't got. Hmm. About an hour and a half ish. Um, I might have to end it here then, guys. What I'll do is I'll save it here. So we've got a little bit of a problem going on now that this Corsair invasion suddenly appeared and the game lied to me about them not having any troops on board. So, I mean, if I just quickly show you over here, if I can, oh, I can't click on the map, can I? So, I promise I won't explain this strategy for nine minutes like I did last time. Okay, so they've got Corsairs, I've got one militia and one general in there. My general can take care of their Corsair archers, that's okay. My infantry will have to deal with the Corsair infantry, but they also have a general, which is going to be a problem. I think we're going to lose Long Gallon. Um, I'm sending Pelilas over. He's only got a militia unit, but I'm hoping we can do enough damage at Long Gallon to be able to just siege it and last out the siege. Okay, so that's that area I'm talking about covered. Over here, two main Harad forces lined up on the riverbanks ready to cross. Now, our force can deal with one in the open field, but we I doubt we can deal with both at the same time. I'm hoping they'll send one over first, then send another, rather than both at the same time, because if they send both, we are in serious trouble. Um, and we are going to be fighting possibly the hardest and biggest battle we have ever fought ever in this campaign. So, fingers crossed they'll come across the river one at a time, otherwise we are in serious trouble. That's number pl place number two. Number three, Lin uh, Tirith Raid, sacrificing that. Enemy army is too big. We're just pulling out. We're going to send these troops north to Mordor. Now, we'll defend to Emin Arnon with against these forces here. This end force we're sending now should be able to help defense defend that area. We've also got Spy in East Osgith. I forgot about that. We need to put over here. Maybe we can use this smaller force to take Minas Morgul or something. I don't know. Um, that's that location. Now, Aaron Nuir is heading to Malgalad. He's going to cover our backs. Whilst Brathor is going to deal with these two forces first, and then he's going to move on to the Black Gate. And if we take the Black Gate, hopefully once we do that, our diplomats can some kind of, somehow organise a ceasefire with Mordor. Maybe we can give them a province to sweeten the deal, as it were. Um, maybe we can give them Malgalad, possibly. I mean, the it's a village at the moment. It's not going to be any threat for a long time. It will buy us some time, so maybe once we take the Black Gate and Malgalad and defeat this army here, we can perhaps organise some kind of sweetened deal of a ceasefire with Mordor. Um, if they say no, we'll maintain the war with Mordor and instead we'll send our diplomats south and speak to Harad at Tier Eth ratings. That will be the closest province to us, unless this Harad diplomat heads north, in which case we can talk to him then. So that's basically a quick overview of the plan. Um, Mordor's obviously in R Rohan's territory now in the Waldberg at least. 
Uh, Thorenberg is owned by Rune, so we don't have to worry about that. Dol Guldor is in the north. Not Dol Guldor. Dol Guldor? Yeah, Dol Guldor, the castle in the, in Mirkwood. That's owned by Mordor, as far as we know, unless the Sylvan Elves have dealt with that. So that whole northern side we're ignoring for the time being. We're just focusing on the south. And finally, as for the island I was talking about, still got my force at Pelagir, but whilst this Harad force is around, I don't want to do anything. Um, I've got a force in Pelagir I could send, but their garrison down here is pretty tough. So um, maybe, I'll, oh, maybe I could send them here. Vatavi is a light garrison. We could send it there. <gasps> oh, that would be interesting. Attack the town and sack it. What's... Umbar's go oh even Umbar, maybe we should go for Umbar. Oh, oh this would this could be interesting. If we took Umbar, then the uh, we could take both at the same time. Send two set two forces. I don't know how we'll be able to fund that, but we might be able to do it. If we can get well, we can we can get one force down to attack Umbar. Take Umbar. That is awesome. That's a good city we've taken. Uh, in a good location in Harad's southern borders. Maybe that will force Harad to send their army south a bit from here. Perhaps. Ooh, this got interesting. Okay, so I, I think I saved it. I'll save it any, again anyway. So that's the overview of, uh, of my plans across the entire frontier. Um, hopefully you guys like the ideas I'm trying to come up with. I'm trying to counter everything that's going on at the moment, whilst at the same time trying to make progress by taking provinces. And it's proven to be a very difficult task. So if you guys, oh excuse me, <coughs> if you guys have got any other suggestions about what I could do, please feel free to leave some comments in the in the comment section below, and I will read through them and I will take some into consideration if I feel that they will be useful. And that's it from me. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.